What was called a forgotten crisis has once again become front page news. The brutal war on Yemen, waged by a Saudi-led coalition aided and abetted by Western powers, in particular the U.S. and the U.K. It's a war that's killed more than 100,000 people, destroyed much of Yemen's infrastructure, and subjected more than 20 million of its population to famine. But last week, an apparent change in policy, an end to U.S. support for the Saudi-led war on Yemen, announced by U.S. President Joe Biden, received with cautious optimism for its ambiguous wording. Across the Atlantic, a different reaction from the second leading arms supplier to Saudi Arabia. The decision the U.S. takes on matters of arms sales are decisions for the U.S. The U.K. takes its own arms export responsibilities very seriously, and we continue to assess all arms export licenses in accordance with strict licensing criteria. Those campaigning to end the U.K. weapons exports to Riyadh beg to differ. In 2019, following a case brought by the campaign against the arms trade, led to a UK court decision banning the sale of UK-made arms to Saudi-led forces over breaches of international humanitarian law. A year later, that ruling was overturned. Well, they say that all the licenses are double-checked and that actually uh, the weapons that they're selling to Saudi Arabia are not being used in the, in the war on Yemen. This is palpably not the case. Since the bombing of Yemen began in March 2015, the UK has licensed 6.8 billion pounds worth of arms to the Saudi regime, including more than 2.5 billion pounds in the form of aircraft, helicopters and drones, and nearly 4 billion pounds in grenades, bombs, missiles and countermeasures. I think the figures show just how central uh, Britain is to the ongoing war effort uh, in the Saudi led coalition. Um, you know, these are huge amounts of offensive weapons that are being sold. And we've even had spokespeople from um, BAE Systems saying that their involvement, the involvement of this key British company in the war effort, is basically essential to the maintenance of the bombing campaign the Saudis are involved in. The UK's biggest arms company, BAE Systems, has pocketed 15 billion pounds from services and sales to Saudi Arabia since the Yemen war began. An end to arms sales alone may not terminate the war in Yemen, but it could be the beginning of the end. Perhaps it's time for the UK government to put its conscience before its arms industry and prevent the humanitarian catastrophe in Yemen from escalating any further. Saeed Puriza, Press TV, London.